out of that. And that's next to it. Okay, that's why I disconnected from that one. Uh, yeah, that was not in the middle live. We're playing against the London. Very exciting. Okay, let's just get a call spread structure and we'll take it from here. been a long time, really long, but I'm a Chess.com ambassador now, so that means that I will stream, you know, a little more frequently at the very least. My Twitch account has been stuck in mud for a long time, but it's, uh, it's unstuck, so that's good. And here I'm playing Title Tuesday. Um, I won the first round in a pretty terrible game. I was worse, probably lost at some point, but you know, I won. So that's good. The mic is bad. I don't even know which mic I'm using. Is it this one? I don't know, hard to say. The other one? Is this better? I mean, it's always scuffed. Like this was, uh, this was done in twenty uh, minutes or so, and uh, I, I know from, uh, yeah, okay, so that's it's this one. Uh, I know from experience that I've never managed to get these things to work, so I generally need, at least like an hour or so to uh, uh, to get these things going so maybe for the next stream it will be, be better but who knows um, well regardless here we have a pretty standard position I'm a little bit worse because this because of this pawn on, on g6 how do you do this how do you mark it like this it means that the knight in e5 is uh, unassailable basically no donate button, no no sub button. Those things aren't changing, you know. This is still a uh, this is still an anarchy stream. Okay, queen b three attacking uh, b five, but I think he's allowing me to take, and now queen c four, and either he has to go back or and allow b four, or I get to exchange queens, and then I'm a little bit better. Uh, yeah, queen c2. He has b3 followed by c4, maybe. Also knight e5. This is okay. Bishop f4, then bishop d6, and I'm okay. Um, yeah, the hoodie is the uh, corresponding hoodie to the sweatpants I was wearing during the first round of the blitz. So, unfortunately, I didn't bring the uh, hoodie to Kazakhstan, otherwise I would have obviously worn it. How's it like flying with Ikaru? It was okay. Took a selfie, then I went to sleep. If you think we need mods, you've clearly never been in this stream before. Oh, threatening mate, cheeky bastard. Now we get f5 as well. Obviously, there is limited potential with pawns only on one side, but I'm starting to get a bit of an edge here. Uh, knight d1 is, is okay, it's a bit solid. I think I want to move the bishop so that I can reply f4 to g3. 
And uh, here I think I'll go f4 as well, just gain some more space. I'm not the least bit worried about queen e5 exchanging queens, because uh, I think that's just going to make... Uh, make his pawns weaker. Can I increase volume? Yeah, I guess. Do I know how to do it? No, not really. Well, my queen is a bit active. If rook b4, there was queen e2. Now I can go rook a1, rook b1, I change, I think, and then queen e2. He really hasn't got a lot of moves. Knight before there's queen d2, attacking this one. So queen d2, knight a4, there's bishop h4. And here you see the value of the pawn on f4, that it holds these pawns down. And now queen c2 is finally something tangible. I do win a pawn. And uh, possibly some more as well. Queen b2. Again, attacking several pieces at the same time. Um, should I give a check first? Yeah, let's do that. Just try and be hyper accurate. Knight d3, e5, threatening e4. Um, wait a sec. e4 takes queen a1. So I go queen a1 first, and then king h2, e4, queen f4, e d3, queen h4, d2 resigns. Yeah, this is a decent game. Not, not using any more calories than I perhaps needed to. Let me just adjust the cam, because I'm looking that way anyway. I think this was uh, this is the first time I'm streaming Title Tuesday, so that's nice. Sort of a less stressful. Less stressful event than um, than the title arenas, especially the bullet ones. How's my dad? He's fine. It's getting better. I'm okay, just still a little bit hungover. Uh, you know, that's the way it is. But I hope the sign is fine. Sorry, the sound is fine. Really, you should give, you guys should give me an honest opinion on that. It would be very, really rude if you didn't. Thoughts about Mitrovic? Um, I don't know. I kind of regret my, my choice. Like, I decided to become a ghost ship when it comes to FPL. Because um, I wasn't enjoying this season whatsoever. And then I sort of collapsed and I started making some uh, changes again. Um, but I've still basically give, given up the season. So I just... Uh, I'm a casual now, and uh, I just decided to do the old triple captain as fun. It's gonna be um, it's gonna be interesting to see. You'll probably get a yellow card in the first game, and then that's gonna be it. As Asios says, they're all hungover. Is that Asios is actually a mod? Is Asios gonna moderate? Having one mod is probably okay. But people are behaving so far. You turned off slow mode or on? Off? That's how you moderate, exactly. Are there any games going? Oh no, that's wrong. Games right here. Yeah, there are a few games. That's fine. Yeah, only... Uh, act was making it more chaotic that's good arsenal versus newcastle arsenal are really good i think it's gonna be relatively low scoring game probably arsenal just gonna edge it like i don't know like one and a half to point seven or something i would guess
still low. Really, which one is better? Right or left? Right, left. Because I don't know which one I'm using. Okay, so this or this. Left? Yeah, it's clearly left. Okay, whatever. How do I turn the sound off though? Like this? Is it better? Yeah, right doesn't work. Haha, <laughs> turn off both. Why not? Indeed. Sound is fine. Yeah, people are just trolling. But sound is always fine. I'm playing Tush Boy. Probably from Tashkent, huh? Who knows? Ortik Nigmatov. I feel like I heard about Ortik Nigmatov. I don't know who that is, though. I mean, I know it's a decent IM. Maybe he played in the uh, in the World Rapid and Blitz. Let's play the slow opening this this time. Um, Knight C three, Bishop D three. So it's generally quite, you know, innocuous. Let's say. Queen e2 is a move. I think knight b4 is a good move here, but who knows? I, d I don't think he's the kind of guy who's well into theory. Oh, maybe now you can go knight b4, dc, then bishop f3, gf3, and then bishop d6. I feel like there was a game like that. Are you going to stream frequently? Uh, probably not. Uh, but if you define frequently by more frequently than before, then yes. Okay, rook e8 is preparing bishop f8 and so on. Bishop f8, g6, bishop g7. Um, so probably a good plan. Okay, let's go rook e1. Yeah, exactly more frequently than almost never. So h4, that doesn't really do much, but I'm at least anticipating g6, trying to make him think twice about it. dc, I'm not really about worried about the pawn on h4, like you could take and then something, but I'm, I, I don't think the pawn on h4 is particularly worse than not having it there. I'm not sure about bishop a6 though, I, I really like getting knight e5. Okay, knight d5 is a good move. That is an annoying move. I was hoping for knight d7 because then I would have had the old bishop takes h7. Uh, and now I don't really have anything. I'll just continue to play something. So what can I do? I have this one idea, which is to go a4, and then if bishop b4 pinning, to go knight b5, sack the exchange. Which is not so stupid, actually. Eh, whatever, I'll just play simple. This is not great, but, you know, I'm not worse, so hopefully I can outplay him later. I mean, he's gonna trade, and then... I have this good knight in e5 with the square on c6 and the bishop pair, but he could trade off the bishop pair later by knight c3. And, you know, even he could go bishop c3 at some point. It's nothing special, just uh, pretty equal. Okay, let me jump in. Uh, the g4 square could be a bit tender sometimes, but I can always go g3 to protect my king. Did RM perform worse OTB or in the club in Kazakhstan? I don't know. RM's, he hasn't been on a hot streak lately, but he's going to strike back. Need better camera? 4K or 8K? What kind of camera is this? Can you tell me? Because I don't know. 
Have I played duck chess yet? No, I'm not planning to. Ronaldo to Al Nasser. Yeah, it's fine. I guess he hasn't, you know, he uh, hasn't uh, made enough money, so needs a little bit, little bit more. But that's that's fair enough. Okay, night before. Looks kind of unnatural to me. Can I go bishop f4, queen d5, and then bishop e5 maybe? I'm hoping to exploit the fact that he's given up some central squares. Otherwise I could go knight e5 back, but I kind of like the idea of spicing the game up a little bit. Like I'm giving up a pawn, but his king could be a little bit short of defenders after that. Hyper Accelerated Dragon, next game is black. It's not the worst suggestion I've heard. Okay, so my opponent is going for a principled approach. Um, should I go d5 immediately? I think so. I'm thinking like if takes, you know, the square, the diagonal is very, very open. So I'm not worried about that. So my I feel like I'm not risking anything by making this sack because I always have uh, a good attack here, which means that I'm never worse. Like, I think that I'm probably better now. We're going to watch the World Dark Championship later, final later. Uh, I actually might. Uh, I watched Dark the first time, basically ever yesterday, and I found it. Uh, if not, like, extremely fascinating, then very watchable. Queen c4, then I take it, and there's a pen. So you can't do that, and otherwise, you know, this pawn is marching quite menacingly. Uh, queen d5 is a good move. I didn't see that. Uh, okay, let's put the bishop back. The position is far from clear. To be really careful. Queen g7. Yeah, let's hope that works. Rook h5. I got rook e1. Takes and then bishop e4. He clearly missed that one. But whether it works? Mm, looks, like, looks like it does. Rook h7. I got queen h7. And I'm winning a piece. Okay. Now it's just a matter of technique. Bishop d3. Rook b1 next, probably. b5, I go rook c1. Uh, and now I can just give a check. Rook f5, start collecting. And he resigned. Okay, good game. Uh, it was very tense, but I think this uh, rook e1 and then... Queen h7 was um, it was the key. That was really big. Let's see if we got any interesting games. Uh, what about the biggest streamer in the world? Is he playing? Mm, I don't see it. Okay. Oh, he lost. Okay. Well, means that he's not going to win every game this time. That's unfortunate, but could could play a card later still, and um, a lot of good players like we have Nepomnyshe, Duda, Keimer, uh, and uh, yeah, Paravian, Martinez, very good um, blitz players. A few of them. Shield. I think that's another guy from Uzbek. I think that's the guy who I lost to 
Yeah, that's the guy I lost to in uh, in the World Rapid in 2018 when I tried to um, to mate him. Thoughts on Formula One? I know this is this is bait, but I don't like Formula One. I think it's boring. I could just run, drive round and round and round, and strength of car has way too much to say and strength of the drivers too little to say like i understand that there's there's a good series about it but it doesn't make the sport better i would say motor gp yeah that's a little bit more exciting uh, a little more spectacular I would Do I play golf? Nah, not really. I've played a couple of rounds in my life, but uh, yeah, I might take it up later. Yeah, when I'm a pensioner, which frankly may be in a few years. So people asked about the headset, like this is a custom custom made Puma headset, uh, the CP edition. CP obviously bringing Christian Pulisic, aka Captain America, the LeBron James of soccer, and a huge chess fan. So I'm happy to be um, to be repping. Hashtag sponsored. Not really. I think I got this these for free, and I was never asked to to rep them. Just a fan, you know. It's a lot of time in between rounds. It's a bit unfortunate. Am I tracking LeBron's scoring title progress? Yeah, a little bit. I um, He's been doing well recently. Not that it's going to matter for the team, but um, it's good to see. Also, I got to shout out my own NBA fantasy team. have a league with uh, some of my friends, also Eric Hansen of Chesbra fame, you know. And uh, we have the system we have that we play each guy once a week. And, uh, you know, I just may have started Donovan Mitchell yesterday. Not really sure, but I may have. So, you know, good times. That was a little bit fun. Like, I get these, like, I woke up and, you know, on the sleeper app, you get these uh, updates, like, um, a certain player is on fire, like, eight or nine points and three rebounds in the last three minutes. And that seemed to happen, like, five times um, during that game. So I sort of understood that he'd probably had a decent game. So I had to just go catch some of those... Um, Highlights. Yeah, we have uh, Yuki Meister as well. Modding. Probably not nodding, but... Uh, he's uh, doing his thing. Actor Shu. Who's this? Chinese guy. Shu Yi. Ah. Yeah, I know him. He's a decent player. Let's go for the old Scandinavian and the line that I sort of invented a few years ago and christened the nonsense Scandinavian. It's a really bad line. I mean, this is very far into the don't try this at home category. It looked like a unicorn flying through space. Whether that's a troll or a serious con uh, comment or anything, I'm super happy to hear it. And obviously he goes for Knight of Three. Just, yeah. I think almost winning for White. Like, I have an extra pawn, but that's the only positive you can 
thing you can say about my position. So we'll have to go back with the queen and then start developing with g6. This is really, you know, not ideal. But as long as there is no like obvious knockout, then I could continue to uh, to fight. And the good thing about starting out with um, a really bad position is that it can only get better or worse. Yeah. Ninety five. Pull the bishop c four next. Have to go e six. If d5, I'm going to go c6, try and survive. Okay, now I go c6 as well, and at least there's no immediate breakthrough. So my position suck, sucks balls, but, you know, I have an extra pawn and uh, pretty horrible, but solid position. My hood is from... from uh, Puma as well. I think it's the I think it's the ball collection or something. Okay, knight b6. I'm hoping that d5 doesn't just crash through. Probably does, but yeah, that's life. D5, you know, I'm probably gonna D5, we're gonna try and take knight c4, queen c5. Hope to survive there. Then queen f4. Eh, may not be as lost as it looks. Okay, what if I take? Takes. That's it, takes. Takes, 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 takes. Is that a disaster? I don't see it. Let's try and take. I think d5 may have been overzealous. Also, there's bishop b5, bishop d7. So there's bishop d7 takes, knight takes, knight d5, knight d5, rook d5, castles. And I think that's, that's okay. I think that's uh, something that I can survive. I'm quite a bit up on time as well, which is nice. It's he's thinking quite a bit, which is I uh, which is uh, which is nice. Oh bishop d seven is a tricky move. Not sure I'm happy to see that. Queen d seven there's some shenanigans, queen g5 or queen f4. Queen f4, probably. Then queen e7, he takes, and so on. I think I should take with the king. Now he's gonna take on d5, I believe. And then, you know. We trade a bit, and the position is a draw, but maybe I can trick him. Love it when all the um, pre moves happen, huh? Okay, king e6. Queen d7. Don't think there's a force draw here. Okay, let's go rook. Yeah, let's go rook e8. Maybe that's the safest. King c8, and I'm consolidating. With the true rooks, I cannot lose. Like, the position is a draw, but I cannot lose, and I'm going to be very slightly better. I'll tuck the king in, and then I'll start attacking his queen with my rooks. He's doing well here, exchanging some pawns. But, uh, you know, there's still hope. Oh, queen c7, no good. Now I get a pass pawn. Now I just run. 
Yeah, this is uh, this is now pretty winning, I think. Actually, it's not clear. He can just start attacking my rook with this queen, but he doesn't have a lot of time. Okay, so rook e2, rook e2, there's queen d4, f2, queen d8 is a perpetual. So let's go and grab the h pawn first. Oh, damn it. Didn't actually work. Oh, yes, it works. Rook f, f, f8, and then f2. So he has to go back with the queen, but then I take the pawn, and I should eventually win. Okay, thank you very much. Capture that. And there we go. Horrible position from the opening. Lost. Then it gets a little bit better. You know, and then a little bit better until I'm finally way up on time and winning. But um, the good thing about taking a horrible position from the opening is that a lot of the time, especially when you're material up, is that your opponent's going to take a lot of time trying to find a, a forced win. And then, then you might... Yeah, then you're going to get up on time and they might make a lot of mistakes and time trouble later. So, good stuff. Conscious strategy, obviously. You know, nothing random about these um, this wins, even though they've been, you know, suboptimal. I do expect to, you know, uh, to run a little bit low on energy, though towards the end of the tournament because I'm not feeling super energetic. Speaking of that, I'm just going to take a mini break, get some snacks, just get up the blood sugar a little bit before the next four games. Be right back.
A lot of spam now, guys. Keep it up. This is good. It's the way it's supposed to be. Looks like I have an awful tiebreak. I mean, I'm at 4 out of 4. My tiebreak is pretty poor. So I'll probably have to um, to win the event clear you know, in order to, um, to be first. That's fine. Just here to chat a little bit and swindle some opponents. I feel like I do have, you know, a little bit of cred to use from the last couple of weeks that um, even if I, I were somehow not to win this tournament but um, the, the arguments could still be made that uh, that I'm a decent player <laughs> so that's fine Am I considering streaming more? Well, yeah. as I said, like it's been next to nothing, so it will be more for sure. Um, like I'm still a professional chess player, so um, unlike others, I um, can't do this full time. Oh, I could, but I'm not going to. But more for sure. I do like it though. So I'm happy to happy to be back. It's really not starting yet. I'm sure there aren't any games going, but. Problem is that I'm using too little time on my game, so it means that my game finishes early and then it's more time to more time to wait for the next one. Did I play mittens? What is mittens? Norway World Cup twenty twenty six? Yeah, I really hope so. Or Euro 2024. 20, like, they're just gonna keep expanding it until we qualify. Do we have some good players? It shouldn't be impossible. Yeah, Happy New Year to all who are wishing me that. Wishing everybody. Can't believe it, it's already January the 3rd. Like this year has just gone by so quickly. <laughs> I have more of that January 2nd feeling, actually. The vo volume is not low, I'm just speaking very softly right now. I'm not shouting into the cam. Sorry, not the cam, the mic, as I should. Yes, I do have Donovan Mitchell on my NBA fantasy, which makes me very happy. Usually he posts these stat lines that are kind of useless because it's, it's all scoring, but uh, yesterday was good. No music? I don't know. Um... I don't know how, how to play it, so yeah, that's that's one problem. I will learn at some point. 
like obviously this is a this is a cash tournament and uh, considering what happened with the um, uh, the old uh, the old idiots in the back gate you know i can't have people here anymore helping with the, with the stream so um it had to be done remotely and um with very little time because asios unfortunately had to work so he didn't have a lot of time to help me and then that's why there's no music the idiots are doing fine the idiots are actually doing great like they're really making their mark in life Mo should I play I'm gonna go b3 you know serve me well in the world rapid and blitz this Musfana is a very good player by the way from Germany originally from Denmark is this wrong should I gun Eh, who cares? Let's just develop like this. C, D, E, D. And pretend that I'm playing black. Which is fine. Push back one, hinting at E4 at some point. Basically, it's just a very solid position that's fairly equal, maybe even a little bit better for black. I'm hoping to outplay him. And it's probably going to be based on one or two plans, either push e4 in the center or b4. And my pawn structure is a little bit more compact, which it often is with this sort of hedgehog structure. Uh, so, like, eventually, I could have a, a structural advantage that I could tell. And here I think these exchanges are a little bit favorable to me. I have some control now over, sorry, these dark squares here. Knight could potentially jump in. So, and I also have this minority attack, which for those who actually were here for the first round, uh, no, not the first round, but the first round that I streamed today, that um, that's how I won, won that game with the minor minority attack on the on the queen side, so could be good. And he's using some time now as well. Maybe now I hope for either this or this. And my position is a little bit easier to play. Could go knight g4, but that's not really dangerous. I'll go h3, kick it back, and then resume my business. I think he's gonna have to get the bishop back in the game via bishop f5 at some point. So let me just improve the position a little bit take control over some more dark squares with the queen queen e7 could go knight a5 but i kind of like the trade and then knight a5 then later i probably want to go with the other rook to a1 and uh, hopefully be able to infiltrate on the only uh, open file Rook a1, threatening knight c6, that which would attack the queen. I might go d4 here later. It opens up some space for the bishop, but it might not do be too consequential. Okay, let me go knight e3 first. Probably should go queen e7 or queen d6 attacking b5. Uh, sorry, b4, but I'll go queen a5. Mm. Queen uh, b6, I'm not sure I like that move at all. Feels a little bit loose. Now queen b8. He has to go b5. Starting to look really scary for him. His knight is now also pinned, so he cannot move. And now I think I'm just collecting, like queen a4, queen a8, and taking on. 
Okay, F6 is a good move, I have to say. Oh, that was a good find. Okay, now I have to bring the bishop in, because he gets bishop e8 to protect c6. But I still have a massive positional advantage. Trying to massage him now on the on the uh, light squares, which he quite correctly prevents. So now I've achieved a whole lot strategically, but it still remains to win the game. I think I'll just play it fairly slowly, hinting at bishop h3 now. I think this would be a good trade for me. If he has to go f5, his position is weakened even further. Okay. Can give a check, maybe. don't think it gives much, but it looks nice. Ah, this is stupid. This is incredibly stupid. Now I'm giving him counterplay. Oh my. Yeah, that was dumb. I su knew as, as soon as I played it that now I just uh, gave him hope for no reason whatsoever. Like, why decentralize the queen? That's so unnatural. Okay, I have to start again. Ah, that's annoying. It's really annoying. I have to trade. Ugh. Yeah, this move just decentralizing the queen was just... Phew, missed, as we call it in Norwegian. Or brain loss. Should I go f4? I'll go queen d king d2 first. d4, I go f4, king d6, and then e4. That looks good. I go knight e1. Trying to get at some, some squares here. I think I have to play f4 at some point anyway. Okay, let's go king c3 first. It's not easy to win this, but I have a massive positional advantage. Ah, uh, this plan actually gives nothing. Yeah, okay, I have to continue to... Hmm, okay, I'm not too sure about that one though. Now we get d4. And the king to b4. Ah, uh, he should have gotten knight d8 actually. Okay, bishop f1. I think I'm finally breaking through here now. He's really sure, sure of moves. Okay, king b6, get the king in. Uh, okay, I think this is fine. b4, bishop c2. Or even king a4, even king a4 actually. Ah, that's a good move. the knight around okay let's just go grab that pawn and then we'll see what happens getting tense should be winning okay now i'll go bishop e2 i think keep things under control or king b6 actually king b6 is nice now I get to take, oh, this is still not clear actually. Oops. I'm a little bit short of time. Uh-huh. I get to take on g6 though, should still be winning. d5, g6 is falling. Yeah, this is completely winning now. Nice. Okay. Easy. Easy.
Yeah, that was a very good game up to a certain point when I allowed this uh, queen f6 stuff. Uh, just decentralized my queen for no reason. And th after that, he defended really well. Uh, but uh, I think I played uh, well in the night ending. Um, this, I was really happy to find this maneuver, knight b6 to c4 and then e5. I think that probably clinched it. Um, if he goes the other way with the king, then then uh, I think the, the pawn is very, very... Uh, I take this position as winning. But yeah, this now knight comes to e5 and then... G6 is hanging and my king is too active, so I think this is um, this is completely um, completely winning. Okay, nice. We have some decent players and five out of five. A Duda, notably, Jeffrey Sharn, and also Sam Chesmood, who I'm, I believe is Samuel Terzakian, who I've played, yeah, I've played twice, two years in a row in, in the World Rapid Championship, and he made a draw once with White, so it's a good player. Duda is tough. Looking at the players who have full score, he's um, clearly the strongest on paper. We have other good players here, like Serrano, who crushed me in the um, World Rat, uh, sorry, the World Blitz, and then Naroditsky as well. It's four and a half. So a lot of tough games to to come, but um, generally I'm doing fine. Oh, I'm playing Jeffrey. Nice. Okay, let's go e4. Can't can't do the one b three stuff every time. Ooh, the Sicilian. I feel like he deserves to be hit with uh, two a three for his uh, for his bravery. This is uh, definitely a case of don't try this at home. D five, I think D five is a good move, but it's not so easy to to uh, to play. Oh, so there's Bishop G seven. What's the story here? Like, I shouldn't pretend that I'm trying to remember because I actually don't know. But I have seen this position before. Hmm. Yeah, let's just take Knight C three. Keeping it simple. This is wasted a couple of tempi. Now I go bishop c4, d3, and then hoping to go h6. Doesn't look too bad. Like I lack a little bit of a foothold in the center, but this hook is very useful. So it shouldn't be too bad. Knight d4, I'm not sure I love. Knight f3, there's bishop g4, then bishop f7. Takes. Knight e5, king e8, takes. Knight c2, king e2. Who knows? Looks interesting at the very least. Probably good for me. My intuition tells me that should be good. GH. Well, I mean, what on earth is that? That looks really dumb. Knight queen h5? Are you for real? I'm just getting all all my stuff for free. Ninety four. Yeah, I'm probably just winning here already. Or close to it. Maybe knight f six you can sort of sort of hold. Knight f six, queen g five and then rook g eight. It looks bad. No, there's a nice line actually. So knight f6, knight f6, queen g5, rook g8, bishop b5, king f8, then I could take an h7 because the queen is no longer protected on d8. 
Okay, let's see if uh, we can get that line. I mean, he can go, he can go bishop d7 now. But then at least I win some material, I think. I mean, when you have a chance to play a move like Rook H7, I generally think that you should. <laughs> Queen A5, there's just Bishop D2. And then if Knight H7, Queen C5 is mate. So it looks pretty bad for him. This? But I can just go Rook T7, no? Do I have something more convincing? Eh, who cares? This looks good. Do I have some fancy way here? Or should I just... Should I just protect my stuff? Eh, let's just go bishop g5. If he takes, there's obviously knight h7 check. King g7, he can do it, but then I can give a check on h5. Yeah, this is a decent try. I really want to go f4 here. Uh, then rook f6. Uh, let me see, rook f6 and king f2, a4, a6. Ah, it's not super convincing actually. Bishop c4, and he actually has time to uh, go bishop d7 and then rook g8, which is a bit unfortunate. Otherwise, that would have been a nice way to wrap it up. Okay, I mean, who cares? I've started this game by sort of playing a bit nonchalantly, so I should just continue that same manner, I think. Okay, whatever, f4. King e2. Oh, okay, I think I think I should do this first to weaken his pawns a little bit further. And then rook h1. I mean, he has to take the bishop, then I go rook h6. I'm gonna take an f6 and then I'm gonna win d4. And even though uh, there's opposite colored bishops, I mean, first of all, the position is really easy to play, which is good with limited amounts of time. Uh, but also, I think objectively, it should be more or less winning. So this is fine. I would say, at least practically, this is not a bad decision. Should I give a check first? I can go rook h7, be hyperaccurate. It's unnecessary. Yeah, I have to be a little bit careful. Start pushing. Okay, I'm pinned the bishop. Now bring the bishop in. There shouldn't be a lot of chances here to hold. Bishop d6. Threatening rook e7. Yeah, you can't hold this. Yeah, it takes and then f5. Easy peasy. Rook f6 next when he moves the bishop. Yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't find the knockout there, but um, in the end, I found a way to just get a very easy position to play after that. After that, it wasn't wasn't too hard, um, especially since he got down on time as well. It looks like it's only Martinez and I on six out of six, so I'll play him next. Then.
do that. Which means that he beat... He didn't beat who? Duda? Where is Duda? Oh, Duda is 5 out of 5. He's still playing against uh, Rokhidov. Okay. So he could be there as well. But we got Serana. We got Hikaru with 5 out of 6. As well as Naroditsky. A penguin. Big fish. A lot of good blitz players. Many of the top finishers in the in the world blitz here. Will I stream the second title Tuesday? Yeah, could be. We'll see we'll see how I feel. If Mitch Mitrovic bangs a couple then you know, could be. I got two whites in a row now, so I'll probably get two blacks now. It's gonna be, be a bit tougher. But so far games have been games have been okay. Like a little bit up and down, but not so bad. By the way, I can't believe that Arsenal Newcastle is actually like a relevant game when it comes to the title. That's pretty sick. Wouldn't have imagined it. Yeah, you did captain Mitrovic, but I triple captain him. Because I'm, um, I'm a casual now. Oh, dude, that one as well. Cool. It's nice to have one really big gun. Up there. So I'll probably play. My tiebreak has improved as well now. Nice. And we'll get Keimer as well with 5 and out of 6. Jabal with 5 out of 6. That'd be really a stacked tournament. It's kind of hoping that Holland would end up at Newcastle. Just to, you know, fuck with everybody. Like, just go, just don't give a damn about anything except the biggest bag. Should I go for the old rat? Not of six? Yeah, why not? I think he uh, deserves to be hit with that one. And... Um, there are only like five lines that are much better for, for white here. The rest, it's sort of manageable. G4? G4, I don't know. Like the knight is horrible in H5. Like why would you go G4? Why would you go G4? This makes zero sense to me. Bishop C4? What is he doing? Usually I take with the queen in these positions. C D knight C three. I don't necessarily get. D five. Does make my pawn structure a little bit more compact though. I think I'll just do that. Knight C six. Bishop H six was that a thing? H three doesn't make any sense because I still go H five and. Then I get a favorable structural change, I think. Um, yeah, taking with the taking there is probably correct. He could go knight queen f three at some point, but don't think that was very dangerous. Now I get very easy development though. Here I I think I'm probably better. I was certainly better, but the position is not so easy to play. Uh, in practice, this is still completely unclear. <laughs> okay, I, I just have a funny trap in mind. Like, I cannot help but play for tricks here. This is such a dumb move. I just... 
Yeah, so what I was hoping for was if you get gone bishop d3, I could go knight h4, and if castles preventing the fork, then knight f3 actually traps his queen. And then if bishop b5, I can take for the rook. But yeah, it goes bishop b5, and now it's not a big deal. I think I should go d5. Oh, I'm running into knight f4. Yeah, this is actually suboptimal. Okay, let's go rook h4. Attack these pawns. If he goes bishop g5, I'm chopping this off in a millisecond. It may not be great, but it just looks very attractive. We also got a little trap. Knight d5, knight f3. Attacking this. Queen d3, but what's his idea after this? Is it? Ah, oh, it's bishop d2. That's still good for me. Queen c6. No, this can't be good. Knight f3. It's losing material now. And then I'm just going to be off the clear. Clear pawn. And while my king is not castled, you know, it's a very healthy pawn still. Because I have such a good structure. So generally, I should win. Queen c5, looking for queen d4, or queen a3. And these sacks are not dangerous at all. Like it doesn't have enough ammunition. Yeah, queen e4 is a good try. I think I'm just going to stick the bishop on... I mean, first of all, there's queen d4 forcing a queen exchange, which basically just wins, but there's also other moves. But then again, I only need to win the game once, yeah? As far as, as, far as I know, so let's take the easy route. The path of least resistance. That's what I love. D1, chop it off. Should I go bishop c3 first? I don't care. He can go c4, but I just go rook h8. And then start feeding. Bishop d4, rook h8, buying some pawns. Uh, this allows one active piece, but I don't think I really care. I go b5, but you know. it's not much at all. Knight d5, knight d4 coming. Doesn't even have rook h a7. Now this is just agony for him. And having said that, I managed to fucking blunder into the only trick he has oh my god how did i not see that just do something a little bit safer instead <laughs> Ugh. i mean he's a tricky player but that was unnecessary Ugh. Okay. let's try and save it now <laughs> so bad Mm. Got too cocky. C4. Probably can't even save this. So you go bishop e3? Mm, I don't know. Oh, okay. Rook f6. Rook b6. Not enough. Uh, 
Oh, am I saving it? Well, I probably have to hold Rook and Bishop against Rook now. Okay. Tens should hold it though. I have plenty of time, and I'll try not to allow him to capture my pawn. Ah, <sighs> yeah, yeah. Do you feel though that there are many things that are necessary in life? Getting into this predicament? Not one of them. Okay, now it's actually not too easy to hold the pawn. Oh, he's doing a good job now. Okay, I have to give up the pawn. Oh, I actually blundered. Oh my god. Yeah, king f1, rook g1, and rook g2. Okay, that was horrible. <laughs> I mean... Okay, losing that position at the end, it can happen with low time. But here... Uh, here, knight e4. Just... Yeah, not go knight e4. It was a good trick. I have to give him that, but... You know, unnecessary. Okay. Okay. Means I have to. Oh, and do that one as well. So he's at 7 out of 7. And yeah, obviously. If I'd captured, there was a fork. So. That was no good. Hmm. Yeah, it was bad. Really not good. Oh, I get another white game. That's nice. Okay, let's go B3. Good. I still have a chance in the tournament. I just gotta probably not mess up anymore so I'll go for the two fianchetti as they call it h5 okay it's not bad the idea is later to go knight c6 and then like if i castle he goes knight c6 and then if knight d5 he goes h4 so i thought Let's not have any of that. What is this? You give me pawn, I take pawn. D3. Generally gambiting this Benku pawn regardless. So I'm not worried about giving up that one. Uh, knight of three, am I allowing bishop h3? Probably. Let's go knight d2 first. <laughs> A5 probably happening. Then I think I'll castle. Shouldn't compare me to Hikara. I mean, that guy is a... Uh, that guy is a full-time streamer. Like, if you didn't know, I'm not even verified on Twitch. Like, how could I possibly have more viewers then? It's not a fair competition. It's like when we play in chess tournaments and I'm a professional chess player 
and he's a professional streamer. Like, that's not fair. Okay, so whenever he takes an h4, for instance, after bishop d7, I think I got knight f3. Um, but now I'll take, yeah, queen h4, knight f3, queen f6. He does have some compensation, but not too worried. Is Asio's modding too much? Mm. Should I go bishop c1 first? I think I might do that. Should go rook b8, I think. Maybe c5 then. Knight g4, 2, I go king d1. Knight e4 or knight f3? Knight f3 is safer. Is it though? Knight f3, knight e2. Nah, that's not dangerous. I, I hope he does that. Oh! I moved the king first! <laughs> oh, that was, uh, that was a brain slip. Like, I was intending to go knight f3, king, knight e2, and then move the king. And I just moved the king. I mean, okay. What the fuck? I mean, what the actual fuck? Now rook e1, knight e2. Like, in my mind, I already made the moves knight f3, knight e2. Oh, wow. Okay. King c2. I mean, that was a weird brain slip. Now I'm probably lost, but I can still hope. The thing is here, you can just play slowly. Like, he doesn't have to kill me quickly. You just play slowly and his position is winning. Now he can even take on d4. Like, it's really horrible. Yeah. Like, I'll take back. Take back queen d3 and he wins material. What should I do then? C4? Ah, whatever. Why not? Why not? It's lost regardless. This is what happens, you know. A pro streamer? would not would not have made that mistake they would have been better at speaking <laughs> and thinking at the same time um and then this wouldn't have happened I mean, this is just hopelessly lost it's not even it's not even close My only chance here is that he completely overthinks things. I'm not a, I'm not an I am at streaming. I'm like twelve hundred at streaming. I make a shameful retreat now. But I mean, I mean I just have no moves whatsoever. Okay, I have to sack this. It's the only like even remote hope that I have. Okay, queen a7. It's sort of pseudo activi activating the queen. Okay, h5. Just going all confusion mode. Queen c7 maybe. Put the 
queen on d6, why not? b3. Is he choking just a little bit here? Nah, not really. Ah, uh, you can go to e7. Uh, okay, yeah, that's just a... Where's the resign button? Nah, I'll just let it run. <laughs> that was horrible. Like, just a total brain slip. Like, knight f3, for instance, this, 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 and then, yeah, it's just winning. Or he can also, he can also go like queen f6 here, but then I take, take, and even though I don't win immediately, there's, there's no attack. Where is the resign button? <laughs> yeah. It's a shame though. Because um, that was a good tournament actually being ruined, being ruined by one unbelievable blunder and one total brain slip. I mean, King D1. What the fuck is that? Like, I already made these moves in my mind, it's just... Ugh. Yeah, now I'm gonna have to play the late one for sure. May or may not stream it, but... Yeah. Where is the resign button? Is it hidden? Is it not hidden by the... I don't know. <laughs> I have to type, type I resign. <laughs> Indeed. I'll play the next the next three rounds, obviously. It's good content. I mean, I could could make a comeback and be in one of the first places and I could also, you know, choke even more and that would also be good content, so regardless. It's all fine. Yeah, I'm getting um, <laughs> I'm getting feedback from my tech people that the um, mic is indeed is indeed fine. So we got, uh, we got Duda at eight, whom I obviously, I'm very unlikely to catch. And then we got, what, eight people at seven out of eight. Like if I win the last three, I could catch a few of those. And then people at six and a half, eh. I'll probably get like sixth or something if I win the last three. <laughs> Eric is five and a half out of eight. Maybe he will catch you. I wouldn't rule it out. I'm probably going to lose the next one. He'll win and then he'll get paired down to play me. That would be fun. <laughs> yeah, I should stream more to increase my stream elo. When's the um, when's the dart final? Does that clash with the football games? Somebody has to know. Ah, in two hours, so it does clash with the football game. I have a good setup here, though. I have three screens, so I'll probably have a couple of games as well as the darts which i've become a massive fan now and over the night the last two days like uh, i feel like i know everything now
We'll probably get Car versus Tuda now. Just uh just a good matchup. Winner of that game is a good chance or I mean a draw or better for Duda's. It's very good. Okay. Gotta be back very soon. <laughs> Hangover Magnus? No. Just, um. Yeah, a little bit, maybe. One of those three day hangovers. Where's my refillable water bottle? Right here. East Clar water is very good, but Norwegian tap water is also excellent. Nothing better than water. Winners drink water, right? Oh yeah, Nameless Bandicoot, the old Sebs, good to see you. FPL season abandoned, eh, I've actually come back to the, um, to the team, but I'm a casual now, so try hard mode, definitely abandoned. Really pissed me off when you had those two game weeks where the server was crashing and you couldn't set your team. Felt like that sort of, you know, put a bit of a damper on my enthusiasm for the game. Mitro gets good points. Yeah, I'll probably, as I said, I'll probably stream the second one. I, I, I mean, unless I'm totally dead at that point. If I'm still feeling okay, then I'll probably play. I get another white. Is that my fourth white in five games? What should I play here? Quickly. Some meme opening. Okay, let's go 1A4. Knight of 6? Okay, D4. I mean, I just played the first move like an idiot. I don't have to play like an idiot afterwards. I wish I'd gotten 1H4 actually, that would have been better. At least brother Sam is thinking. Brother Samuel Tarly Sahakian. I don't like this. So background mu music will be great, would be great. Absolutely agree. Maybe I'll find out how to do it. Um, before the um second tournament today. Okay, let's go knight c three. Panic to take and then e four. 
<laughs> Stop deleting messages, Nightbot. No restrictions here. <laughs> Funny. Just for confusion. Actually, this is not great. I was hoping for takes, knight to six, bishop b5. But then e a6 takes takes i don't think e5 followed by e6 is great and otherwise you know i'm just worse okay let's go queen f2 which is objectively pretty dubious but uh, the alternative just seemed unappetizing for me it gave him very easy play so here his position is still good, like objectively better, but it's maybe a tad more difficult to play. So here, trying to get the knight here eventually. Bishop c4. Queen b2, I guess. Knight f2 next. Bishop here. It's a bit annoying. Maybe knight h5 was even better. Okay. Oh, knight h5, I have knight f2, and then I'm preventing his threats. That's fine, actually. Knight a5. Should I get this? Knight is probably better on d7, though. Uh, position is a little bit worse, but my next few moves are easy, so I'm not massively worried. Knight d7 is a plan, but then I go h4, h5. Uh, I go h4 anyway, actually. I'm not worried about knight h5, then I just go rook h4 and then g4. Sorry, rook h3 and then g4. Explaining ideas with arrows, isn't that what streamers do? I was thinking h6, but you just go g6. Ah, this was done. Okay, let's go rook d1. Preventing queen d2. This is really unnecessary, actually. I'm a position is still playable, but not as attractive as it could have been. Okay, I go here. I'm not sure I love this choice now. Oh, you can just go back. I was thinking of queen d3 for some reason. I've completely lost the thread now. Oh boy. Okay, let's go here. Attacking g5. to do something I love this but what can what can I do okay, let's get the knight back I feel like the moves are pretty random at this point so don't expect anything too good Oh, uh, good move. Very good move, sir. Knight h3. Let's get that bishop around. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, king h3, preventing queen h4. Now my king is hopefully safe. At least for now. Uh, just not in time, I think, to do anything too aggressive here. Uh, let's see. Okay, I have to... Does this work? Mother. Damn. Take an episode? No. It's actually worse, fam. Unbelievable. I'm probably still okay. Let's push. Okay, check. Now I should be mating. Oh, we can trade. But that's mate. Okay. <laughs> what a game. What an absolutely horrible game. But quite exciting. Good content. You know, not bad for a 1200 streamer. <laughs> Did he have rook h1? When? Oh, here? Yeah, sure he did. I mean, many things were missed in this game. Plus 50 streamer rating? You think so? I'm not sure I gained that much. <laughs> 12 1 confirmed, indeed. <laughs> So, Duda evidently drew Hikaru, which means that Duda is now, mm, I wouldn't say cruising, probably has to, I don't know if he's played Big Fish or Fandarin or Shang, but there are currently eight people ahead of me. I feel like, yeah, as I said, like, Fifth or sixth place with two wins and a decent tiebreak. Ah, my tiebreak is actually not good. So it's probably going to be a little bit worse even if I win both my last two games. But at least I got four white games out of five, which is nice. Um, You know, unlike the time that I got seven black games out of 11, which... Actually, that never happened to me before, which is a bit surprising, but more amusing than anything else. <laughs> Hashtag rigged, indeed, as else. So yeah, this is um, you know a really massive win. At least I got something back from the two unbelievably unnecessary losses that I had. Shimbo Lake was really good. Like Almaty has its char charm, but um, the uh, it's really polluted. So. Getting up in the mountains with really um, good air and these slopes was, was beautiful. And also, I mean, I've skied basically once in, uh, um, in the last 20 years. Um, so my sort of lift technique was horrible. Um, but I did get some help there. And also... The, the slopes were not, you know, super steep. So that that helped as well. It made it a bit little bit easier. So actually it was it was beautiful. Uh what should I do? Let us six. Okay, G six. Who we'll play a so called King's Indian? Okay. 
go b5 because why not doesn't look that bad Norwegian are not skiing yeah I mean I skied a bunch when I was a kid snowboarded a bit as well so I know how to do it like I'm not a bad skier but it, it is to some extent like riding a bike okay what is he doing here not impressed Bishop d3 yeah this makes sense still after e4 I go I go d6 I think I'm fine this is not a bad sort of modern setup I would say I got a double fianchetto potential knight d7 followed by uh by uh e5 or c5 we have a funny line here e5 knight d5 e6 takes knight g5 then i got bishop d4 attacking f2 could be fun <laughs> banter blitz vibes oh yeah for sure better if i click instead of drag so i don't mouse slip the problem is I'm brain slipping, not mouse slipping. So how about this line? E5, DE, DE, knight E5, knight H5, uh, knight D7, knight F4, knight F8, knight D3. Doesn't that look good for me? I think it does. I'm not sure this is uh, this is great. Like, uh, if he just plays bishop e3, um, but at least I got to show that I can calculate some nice lines. Ah, uh, I see what I missed now. Hmm. I miss knight f4, bishop f1. And then I'm just losing. Quite unfortunate. Okay, I have to take back then. Get my queen going. Thank you very much for your 1200 input. Knight uh, <laughs> f6. Mm, we got some. We got some player here still though. All right, this is not hopeless at all. Bishop f1, queen e6 back. And I have activated my queen, so I was just being nasty there for no reason. Can probably like objectively make the draw now. Um, double my rooks, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Rook d8. Oh, knight of. Knight d5. That is such a chicken move. Boo. Boo. Should be ashamed of yourself, Nijet. I like the guy. Like, he's a good guy, but that is a chicken move. I don't think it's a good move either. I'm going to capture. Would you capture it? Just let it slip. He goes back. Really, huh? Okay, have a look at this move. Queen b3. Don't know if it's the best, but it's the most stylish for sure. If not, if rook a3, there's knight g5. So queen e3 is the only move not to lose on the spot. Now I just got knight d2, no? Yeah, I think so. 
You have to go queen e3. Queen e3, I'd probably go like knight b2 anyway. But here, he's just losing. <laughs> no, he's running out of time as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't know if it was the best, but queen b3, that's a super sexy move. I have to say. He didn't find the resign button, indeed. <laughs> like, is it just gone? Is bishop a6 a move here? Could be. No, it's not, actually. Takes, 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 takes. Queen b2. Attacking c3 and a1. Oh, knight takes immediately on g5 or c3 c3 takes on b7 because if he takes back queen d5 attacking this and also threatening mate big dude i won again what a beast it's amazing how easily things went after after my pawn blunder. Like here, if he doesn't want to lose, he can just go like bishop g5, knight g4. I mean, he can obviously take. And then I have to go like takes, knight e5 here. This. But I mean, this is really bad for black. Um, but like, if he wants to be really safe, he could just go do this. That's, I mean, I just, just to pawn down for very little. But yeah, what happened in the game was really nice. If he wanted to, if he wanted to play it really safe, he should have just gone for this. Now I can't do much. I have to go like bishop e5. I have decent compensation, but yeah, not gonna win. Oh boy. Okay, so it looks like Tuda. Oh, Shigayev, the guy who I had the brain slip against. He's actually in second place now. I don't know if he's already lost to. Oh, I cannot see it there. I mean, how can I see what games he's played? I don't know. Unless he's played Duda, then he actually has a chance. But who cares? One of them is going to win the tournament for sure. It's probably going to be Duda. And as for my humble self, as for my humble self, I'll try and finish off with a swindle. Let's try and finish off with a swindle. That's, that's going to be my goal for the next game. Maybe everybody is played, so I get paired up to Karo on, <laughs> on uh, eight and a half. That would be funny. Or maybe I get paired up to Duda. Didn't even think about that. Black against Duda? Could be. Is he going to be hit with the old rat? Is that what's going to happen? No, I get paired against Hikaru instead. It's not a bad it's not a bad pairing for content, but I was really hoping for Duda. Oh my god. A3 Are you for real? Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Now I go C5. Is he gonna go H4? Oh, I hope it goes h4. Then I'm going to go knight f6, e5, then knight h5, and it's just going to be hit with the accelerated rat, which, as we all know, is a much more dangerous rat.
The system is actually not bad. Like white can go for a quick h4 here. And uh it's not stupid. Should I do h6 or h5? Who knows? Let's just go h5. h6 there's some uh there's some h5 g5 f4. Like at least that's the case with reverse colors. And it's actually not stupid. Now I just want to go b6, bishop b7, finish my development. And Duda, okay, so Duda hadn't played Chigayev, so they uh, finished first and second. Which means I'm um, sort of fighting for third. Is it going to be a podium for the boys, potentially? Should I go f6? Okay, let's castle. Keep it simple. Queen f4, so let me see, f6, bishop f6, rook f8, he's gonna sack his queen, knight f4, then d5? Wait a sec, that's not clear at all. Also, I can go. Also, I can go rook f eight. It's not not bad. But is that what is the, what is the best content? Like letting him letting him sack the queen. Is that good content? I think it is. Not letting him sack the queen. Like I'm trying to improve my streamer rating here. Okay. Take d five. It's what you gotta do. Now we get a good fight, at the very least. I'm guessing some rook. Mm, this one. This one I think is a bit too soft. Now I'm getting my pieces on decent squares. This is super complicated though. Oh, F3 is a typical Ikari move. Very solid. And he's anticipating shenanigans and on the um on the F file. I think I gotta open stuff up here. Oops, that was a blunder. Blunder. Push B7. Yeah, he doesn't miss the stuff. Unfortunately. Ugh. Takes bishop c5, that's extremely un unappetizing. So I think I got a sack. And now we just hope for a desperate counterattack. It's not hopeless, but it's. Pretty ugly. Okay. Gotta capture this. Not let it slip. C2 is hanging. Bishop C6. I mean, I'm lost. I think I'm lost, but it's not hopeless. I have a queen. He doesn't. That always means a little bit of hope. Okay, this preventing knight d6. Ah. He's playing pretty accurately now. It's a bit annoying. Ah, I gotta play this, I think. C4. Ah, 
Yeah, he's got too many pawns here. It's really bad. Capture. Okay, bishop a4. Trying to confuse him as much as I can. Uh, wait a sec. Knight c2. Oh, I don't think it loses. I think knight d6 then. Yeah, it wasn't losing. I have to go king d7 now. Otherwise, there would be force win for him. Rook g7. Is he feeling the nerves? It's a huge game. For some marbles. Wow, this move looks really loose. Wait a sec, this can't be good. Queen e3. What? I take your knight, sir. No, I don't. I don't. Then he's got swindles. Okay, so I take this. And then he's got this. Annoying. Really annoying. Okay, this. Maybe still winning. Knight d3. Is that the end? No, it's not the end. Damn it. Take. What a game. What a game. We both got no time now. Ah, what happened? I couldn't move. I couldn't move. He didn't let me move. What? No, what a throw. What a throw. It wouldn't let me move. I couldn't grab the queen. Oh my God. Both bad streamer rating and bad bullet rating. I mean, that was really bad. Just check. And then bishop c4, ah, rook c2, maybe it was not so clear. Why couldn't I move? It, I tried to grab the queen and it didn't let me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Anyway, yeah, flagged, he is second. Two dice clear first, congrats to, to them. Especially to, um, to those as well as... Uh, Jigayev finished in third place. What happened? I just couldn't pull. So let me see, like, Queen E3. Obviously, it was winning before, but I did a good job keeping the game going. Let me see, like, if I take this. I cannot escape with the king. Yeah, I cannot escape. So, and if I go the other way, there's Rook E4. Uh, so I take with the bishop. This is a fascinating position. Do I take with the knight? No, it's not clear. C6 was a sick move. Rook D1. Yeah, can I go bishop F3 because I'm knight F5? So here, knight c4, and this is not clear. Ah, and here you could have taken them, could have taken this. If I check, take this rook c3. So I have to go like this, which is probably a draw, but I'm worse. Now this, go back. Okay, bishop c6 is a weird move, but who cares? Here I was almost flagging, but yeah, this is, why am I, mean, why was I not managing to grab the queen? I feel like there was something weird happening there. I mean, it was a super messy game, so it was not unfair that he won. I mean, they both missed chances. I just, that was just really, really strange. 
Dear Mr. Carlson, this is Stockfish15. You'll be pleased to know that I've been monitoring your games and I've found you as a worthy opponent. I challenge you to, uh, to blitz type 420. I mean, that's not a good troll, but actually, have you seen my games now? Uh, like, how could I challenge even self made 6.9 at this point? This, <laughs> I mean, I, I um, cannot challenge any, any computer now. Games are um, are not good, and the hustle is uh, is even worse. <sighs> okay, so I think that's gonna be it for me for now. Uh, I'll probably be back for the second Turtle Tuesday. Um. <laughs> Unless I'm super tired at that point, we'll see. But uh, this was um, this was fun. Um, I think you know, first six games were mostly fine. I would say. After that, it was um, um, it was a mess, but um, nevertheless, good content. And um, I'll be back for my streaming speedrun later. I'm now aiming for 1300. So see you then.